I've been dealing with T-Post a long time. I cannot believe that I'm just now learning this trick on not how to put a T-Post in the ground, but how to get a T-Post out of the ground. If you've ever dealt with T-Posts, you probably know what I'm talking about. Watch this clip and leave a comment down below if this resonates with you. Yeah, don't worry guys, I got it, this will be easy. Just give me a second. God dang. What is this, cement? What? No, no, I got it. No, 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 I don't need any help, I got it. Let me just, let me just wiggle it a little bit. Yeah, it's coming out now. What the? What the heck? All right, this has to be it. God dang it. What in the world? Hey, how much is a T-Post anyway? What? Four dollars? What are we doing? Just buy a new one. This one's stuck. Okay, that's funny, but really, getting T-posts out of the ground by hand is really difficult, or it can be really difficult. So what I'm gonna show us today is a trick using the T-post driver to remove the T-post from the ground in seconds. It's unbelievable. Watch this. Okay, now let me show you how it works. The first step is you turn your T-post driver upside down. So you're gonna put the heavy end on the ground. Now you wanna position the heavy end of the driver on the ground about a foot away from the base of the post itself. The next step is to get one of these teeth lipped over the edge of the opening in what's now the top of the T-post remover. In order to get it latched on there, what I like to do is position the bottom just far away enough that when I lean the driver forward, it's laying on the top. It's laying on the top of one of those teeth. And then, and I'll show you when I set the camera off to the side, I'm going to push the T-post. I'm going to push the T-post forward, which is going to allow the opening of this driver to fall below the tooth and that's going to catch it and then gives me the leverage to then remove the post so remember i'm going to set the base 12 to 18 inches away and then i'm going to push forward on the t-post until it latches over the top of the remover tool and then i'm going to put my foot against the back of the removal tool one hand at the top of the T-post, one hand kind of gripping the T-post and the removal tool to keep them together. And then I'm just gonna rock my body back to pull it out of the ground. And there you have it, T-post removed. Hey guys, thanks for watching another video. Leave a comment down below if you enjoyed this T-post removal trick. We'll see you next time.